All right, guys. We're 11 miles out. As you can tell, it is a very icy experience. Um, my plan was to turn this aircraft, the 787, into a flying popsicle. And check this out. We have succeeded. That's all of our ice right now. That is everything we have on the aircraft. It looks magnificent. Um, so we're going to try to land over here in Detroit. Um, we've lost control of our autopilot system. Sort of, it looks like. Yeah. There we go. We've actually lost our auto throttle system. I'm sorry. <clears throat> so let me get ourselves back up to 3,000 feet. The auto throttle system just doesn't want to work right now. I've had to disable it. I'm not very good at managing my throttle on my own. Okay. Flaps are at 30. Yeah, we are very can't see a thing. <clears throat> uh, let's see if we can go down to 2,000 feet. I'm going to try to go down to 2,000 feet so I can try to see something. Anything, really. I don't want to be coming in on this uh, airport without any idea of what's, what's going on. Gonna be interesting. Clear to land runway two two left United seven eight eight. I can't see any strobes or anything. Back off a little bit. Boy, I don't think anybody can see anything. I don't even know where the airport is. Or a thousand feet. I think I see it now. Not entirely sure though. Yeah, I think this is it. Scoot over a little bit. I still can't see the dang one. Whoa, that's the end. That's the end. That's the end. Landing here. Landing here. Landing here. All right. Landing here. Landing that was the end. That was the end of the runway. <laughs> One 
So it wants to get up to 8,000 feet, which I think we can definitely do. Wow, that was difficult. Crazy. We're not going to go to 17,000 feet. to go so high. I'm not going to go that high. That was a rough, rough attempt. We really can't see anything. <laughs> All right, we've hit the ILS again. Try to point us downward a little bit so we can turn around and try it again. This time, I guess we'll uh, we'll probably end up using our windshield heater. That's probably a smart idea. Okay, so that guy's landing. Probably why they want us to go so high. I'm not gonna worry about it though. Oh, dang, there's another guy on approach too. I'm not gonna climb that high, guys. They're gonna want us to turn around. But I don't know what this MKS768 character is gonna do. This guy. Going to one two four decimal zero five United seven eight eight. Detroit Metro approach United seven eight eight is at seven thousand two hundred feet, climbing eight thousand feet. United seven eight eight Detroit Metro approach altimeter two nine decimal seven six continues until this plan. Shoot. Right, I'm gonna 
gonna try to use this real quick. Bro, we're coming in hot. We don't even care what you think. We're coming in and we're coming in now. Delta, you're going to want to get the hell out of our way. We will play the game of chicken in the sky. And I'll be honest, we'll probably win it too. expediting our climb because we have no intent on climbing that high. We're coming in for landing and that's that. Oh, jeez, jeez. Whoa! Get out of the way! Out of the way! Reversers did not kick in when they were supposed to. Well, there we go. We're just gonna. Okay, we are messing this airplane up. If this was real life, we would mess up this airplane. This would be on the news. Everyone would know what just happened. TJ done messed up. That's what he did. He messed up. And surprisingly, the uh, defrosters did absolutely nothing. Maybe it just, uh, maybe it, that uh, took too long to, yeah, I don't know. Well, we tried. We got her on the ground in one piece, sort of. I guarantee if there was damage in this game, there'd be a lot of damage to the under underbelly, though. Jeez Louise. Well, all right. <sighs> I guess that's all, guys. That's what I wanted to show everybody. We tried it first person, we messed up bad. Uh, third person, we did alright, but uh, for some strange reason, I did not activate my ground spoilers and all that good stuff, even though they were armed. I don't understand why it didn't work. Um, oh well. Whatever, whatever the reasoning behind it, the aircraft was a flying popsicle, so that's probably why half of the things didn't work. Uh, anyhow, thanks for watching.